In Moses and Monotheism, as in Totem and Taboo, Freud tries to apply psychoanalysis to history in the context of his own historical ideas. In Moses and Monotheism, Freud departs from individual psychology and makes inferences from a group psychology. In Moses and Monotheism, Freud questions whether a person named Moses is a real person or a myth. The book also emphasizes how Judaism and Moses were influenced by the Egyptian civilization. First, let us start with the view that Freud argues that Moses was an Egyptian, not a Jew. Freud bases his thesis that Moses was an Egyptian on the fact that the name Moses comes from the Egyptian language. The name Moses means child in the Egyptian language. In the book, it is stated that the Hebrew equivalent of the name Moses is Moshe and that its meaning is taken out of the water. Freud argues that Moses was an Egyptian from a noble family and that in the historical process he was mythologized and started to be seen as a Jew. When the life stories of legendary heroes are analyzed, it is usually seen that such people have lived in a lower class throughout their lives and have reached a lofty stage by liberating themselves from this lower class. However, the hero named Moses experienced the opposite process. The religion with the understanding of one God that Moses brought to the Jews may be one of the ancient Egyptian religions. Amenhotep IV, an Egyptian pharaoh, developed an oppressive understanding of one God during his reign. Amenhotep adopted the solar culture and placed the sun at the center of the divine system. This monotheistic religious understanding may have spread to the Palestine-Syria regions and some parts of Mesopotamia through conquests. As a result of these conquests, the understanding of monotheistic religion expresses the universality and unity of Egyptian imperialism. Freud states that Moses imposed his own religion on the Jews based on the view that he was an Egyptian. According to Freud, this religion is the religion of Aten. For example, the fact that the tradition of circumcision practiced by Jews is an Egyptian tradition supports Freud's view. According to Freud, Moses was an important person with a high position. The destruction of the monotheistic religion in ancient Egypt caused Moses to become an enemy of the Egyptian government, because Moses was a sincere believer in the religion of Aten. While serving as governor of the border province of a region, Moses established a relationship with one of the Semite tribes who had come there several generations earlier. This relationship grew so strong over time that Moses became the leader of this tribe. According to Freud, the design of God in the monotheistic religion that Moses brought to the Jews is more monumental than the previous God design of the Jews. Moses' God design is seen as a God who always helps the Jews. The reflection of this in psychoanalysis is the fulfillment of instinctive desire and its perception as pleasure. Freud states that Moses has a quick-tempered, angry character and a speech disorder. He states that this nature of Moses led the Jews to perceive God as jealous and cruel. Freud says that Moses' religion of Aten was imposed on the Jews in an oppressive way. Because of this authoritarian method, the Jews revolt against Moses and kill him. According to Freud, it is accepted that Moses of Medan was born after the murder of Moses of Egypt. According to Freud, the Jews had their own national god and the universal god of Moses was not immediately accepted by the Jews. Therefore, there were conflicts between Moses and the Jews. As a result, Freud both analyzed the prophet Moses in terms of psychoanalysis and evaluated him within the historical process. As a result of these analyses, Moses had three typifications the primal father, the murder of Moses and the revival of Moses.